Hey Sagittarius, this is a reading for Sagittarius and their ex for December 6th through the 12th. We're going to check out and see if your ex is likely to come back. And um, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Going to point this camera down at the cards in a second, guys. I just want to kind of give you guys a face-to-face. -face. I'm really not that fond of the camera. Okay. I just feel like, you know, the concentration should be more on the cards. But, you know, sometimes people want to feel, put a face to the voice. So, here I am. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius and their ex. Coming off of Sagittarius and their ex. Sagittarius and their ex. Move some of this stuff out of the way. All right, guys. We have you coming in as a tower. Huh. Your ex is death. Ooh. What you want is the star. I can, I can definitely see that. They want the seven of wands. What you need is the emperor. What they need is the moon. Is there anyone else involved? Queen of Pentacles for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. For them, Seven of Pentacles. Card in the middle for if your ex is likely to come back. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and shift this camera down so you guys can see these cards. Let's see. So you're coming in as the tower currently. Um, there has been some significant event in your life that has just shaken you, okay? Just shaken you to your core. Um, and it was very quick, like you didn't see it. You probably have felt it for a while, but this you know the tower comes in when we have a hard time letting go of things that no longer serve us and so we try to hold on so tightly and then you know at some point god says you know what you know if if you don't have the strength to remove this from your life then i will do it for you it's like protection for you okay now the other person your ex that you're dealing with could be a scorpio because Scorpio got the tower in their reading, and death was also there um, for the other person. So, your ex has just ended something. And what they ended could have possibly been the relationship with you. But you didn't see it coming. It was almost like this, this real... Um, shake up like you knew things were bad but you didn't know that you guys were not going to be together and possibly not get back together because that's where you stand right now you know what you want is to be able to see things clearly here with the moon you want to know how they feel you know is it is it truly over is it really over you know did you mean what you said when you broke up when you left hang on one second guys I'm an ex-smoker, so I'm, I'm pulling on this e-cigarette right now. So you want to know, is this really over? Do you really not want to, do we not have anything worth saving? Okay. Now, the other person, they've, po they've possibly blocked you. Possibly they blocked you, um, but not only blocking you, but they're very, they, they probably blocked other people out of their life. They, they probably are not even dating. <clears throat> excuse me. They're so on defense right now um, on 
defense, not the fence. But they're on defense right now, um, just blocking everything, being very defensive, being very harsh. Because I think, you know, they're trying to defend themselves against the reason why they're not with you. So I feel like it's a struggle for them. I feel like it's a struggle for them. You know what? Let me put my glasses on because, you know, I just realized something here. That I said you wanted to see things clearly here with the moon. This is not the moon. That's the star. But you know what? The moon is here, though. <laughs> the moon is over here on the other person's side. The moon and the stars. This is a relationship that is, is meant to be. And what I mean by meant to be, excuse me, is you guys were meant to be in each other's lives. And I'm not saying meant to be forever, but excuse me, you were meant to come together because there's something that you guys need to learn from each other. For sure. Now, this person, yeah, quite possibly was meant to be your life mate. Quite possibly. But the fact still remains that you guys are not together currently. Because after after this shakeup, after this person left, you, you know, you really felt like this person was you guys were meant to be and you are going through this healing process this awakening process um learning to love yourself learning to learn you're realizing that the connection with this person you know it, it hurts you for sure definitely but you've also learned a lot from this person You've also learned a lot from this person. You've learned to stand up for yourself. That's what you're in the process of learning. See, they're here defensive with the seven of wands. They're standing by whatever they said, whatever they believe. I just feel like it's a struggle for them because they don't really believe some of the stuff that they're saying. That's the thing. They're needing to express their feelings because they're hiding a lot. They're hiding a lot here. And they're kind of being secretive. I feel like they haven't told you truly how they feel. Or either they told you something that was not true. Like they may have told you they don't love you. They're not in love with you anymore. And I feel like that was, that was said to you, if that was said, to get you off of their back. Like to stop contacting them because separating from you was hard enough. But you, but still being in contact with you is like, um, you know, putting a nail in a coffin, so to speak. Now, you're needing to stand, you know, strong and not waver, not contact this person. If that's what they told you, don't do it. Don't do it. You know, there's a need to just be strong, be who you are. Be who you know that you are. And I know it's hurtful, but it's time to take your power back. That's what the emperor is here for. It's time to take your power back. Now, I don't think anyone else is involved. I think this is you. I think this is you, you know, trying to concentrate on yourself, trying to get your, your confidence up trying to build your abundance. You know, you you're just trying to get to a point where you're, you know, you're you're dressing up and going out, even if it's to the grocery store. Um, you're just trying to get back out there and feel um, normal again. Trying to get your happy back. This person as far as if someone else is involved, Seven of Pentacles. No. No. 
I almost feel like this person is um I almost feel like this person is just sitting up thinking about all the things that they feel like went wrong. Hence, we have a seven of wands here. Like they're very defensive about their position on the whole relationship. I don't feel like anybody's involved in, you know, either one of your lives right now. Not a romantic partner. I really don't see why you guys are not together, honestly. But let's see if it's likely. I, I feel like it is likely. Um, I feel like you both, you know, this person is a little more stubborn than you are. And of course the energy can go vice versa. I feel like they're a little more stubborn than you are. Um, but I think both of you are wanting to move this relationship, you know, into a more positive direction. Um, I don't think they know how to, how to come back from the things that they've told you. Like if they told you that they didn't love you, um, I almost feel like they think that hope is lost here. Because this is hope. And I feel like they're just looking out into nowhere. So for December 6th through the 12th, you know, I do see, I do see there, there's an energy um, around this individual that is trying to shift, you know, try, just shift them to basically wake up and um, smell the roses is what I feel. Because the death and the moon, you know, that is, that's energy that is like around this person. This is that's not actually what they are doing. They are being propelled, pushed to. But what they're actually doing here is a seven of pentacles and the seven of wands. It's like they are trying not to hope. Like their hope is lost. Because I think they feel like they've done something that they can't come back from. Okay? So that is what I have for you guys for December 6th through the 12th. And I will be speaking with you soon, Sagis.